Hello everybody, my name is Anthony Cesario, and welcome to this episode of The Art of Entertainment, a podcast where I talk about music, books, television, and pretty much anything else I feel like talking about. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the book The Chaos of Now, written by Aaron J. Lange. Um, So just a brief summary before I get into it. Um, This book follows the main character, Eli, um, and he attends this high school. And about a year after this other student named Jordan um, committed suicide um, because of bullying, the school has really cracked down on social media and technology use, and the students at this school feel like their privacy is being invaded. Um, So this main character, Eli, um, he's like this expert hacker coding um, guy. And he joins with these other two students named Mouse and Seth to create this sort of forum um, online to kind of avenge Jordan's death and expose things that other students are doing at their school um, in order to give the students kind of a voice. And so throughout the book, you kind of see how at first, they um, Eli feels like what they're doing is justice for Jordan because they're exposing all the bad people who they feel drove him to suicide. Um, but as the book progr- progresses, um, you kind of see um, Eli start to think that maybe this website is causing more harm than good. Um, so at first, I wasn't sure how I felt about this book like within the fifth, uh, the first 50 to 60 pages, um, because honestly, I didn't like the main character at all. Um, Eli, at the beginning of this book, he's, he's arrogant, um, he's a jerk, and he's a pretty unlikable character. Um, he ha- His dad is dating this new younger girl after his mom died a, a long time ago, um, and of course, he doesn't like her, It follows kind of that stereotypical, like, my father is dating someone else and I don't like her, so I'm being mean to her kind of plot, which, I mean, itself isn't a problem, but I just felt Eli was a jerk overall, and he was, and he didn't make me want to keep reading because I didn't really care about him. Um, But as, as I kept reading, as I kept reading, I'm glad I did because the book did get better and Eli did become more likable. Um, he did start to question his own morals throughout the book, and he also became closer to Misty over time, who was the girl that his father is dating. Um, and so that's, that storyline is admittedly, it's kind of predictable, um, but nonetheless I found it enjoyable, because I did like Misty as a character, and I was hoping that they would um, become closer as the book progressed, so I'm glad that happened. And another thing I liked about the book, um, for the most part, I did like how the book addressed real-world problems, Um, at least in the first, I would say, 90% of the book. Um, It dealt with bullying, social media, crushes, friendships, familial relationships, and a few other things. And I think these ideas are all um, relatable for many teens, which I think made the book um, more impactful. And I also like how the book shed light into the lives of the people who um, normally would be considered bullies. Um, These people that Eli and Mouse and Seth were trying to expose and get back at. Um, For example, the kid named Brett who was taking the steroids. Um, So they exposed him, but later you found out um, he kind of felt pressured into doing it because everyone else was. And his scholarships and all his acceptances in the college were being revoked. And then, for example, Malcolm, um, who was um, Eli's bully at the very beginning of the book, um, you find out that he got a girl pregnant. And even though he's like a obnoxious, bad person and he's really mean, um, you start to see him deal with the prospect of becoming a father, and you have a little bit of sympathy for him. So. Learning about all these different things that the traditionally antagonists have done, um, it doesn't it doesn't excuse their acts, but it also shows how 
everyone has their own things that they're going through. And so you can't really judge a book by its cover. And also, the main character wasn't made out to be perfect either. He's, I mean, he's unlikable, like I said at the beginning. Um, but he's also done some illegal stuff in his past due to his hacking and his coding skills. And he wants to keep that a secret. So he's not perfect either. And literally what he's doing now with the forum, that, that is considered illegal as well. And so he's trying to keep people from finding out about that. So not only are you trying to see kind of justice being dealt to the people who have done wrong, but I think a bigger theme, uh, a bigger motivation in this book that wants you, that keeps you reading is you honestly are trying or you're hoping that Eli doesn't get caught with um, the things he's done in the past. Um, so one more thing that I liked about this book was that it didn't glorify suicide. Um, I feel like when you have a plot that deals with suicide, it can become very close to um, glorifying it, which you've seen in shows such as 13 Reasons Why that have gotten a lot of criticism um, for doing that. Um, so this book, it showed the effects that suicide can have on everyone else, um, but it also showed that while it was obviously a terrible Thing that Jordan felt that he had no other option but to commit suicide, it showed that he wasn't a perfect person either. And I feel like a lot of the times after someone dies, you want to think that they're uh, like this perfect person or better than who they are or who they were really. And I like how, however briefly, this, um, this book kind of addressed the fact that nobody is perfect and we all have problems and just because um, something terrible has happened to you that doesn't make you a perfect human being and I thought that was I'm, I'm trying to word that so it's not offensive or anything but I did think that was a very touchy subject um, that I was surprised and impressed that the book touched upon um, I honestly was not expecting it from this kind of book um, but I'm glad it did touch upon that. Um, I would have liked there to be some more part about um, mental health, health however, because I feel like that is what um, drove Jordan to suicide, and I would have liked to see more of how mental health can impact people and drive them to self-harm, and how if like you have mental health problems, you, you should find people to talk to. And so I feel like if it if the book had explained or gone into a little bit more about mental health, um, it could have really been even more impactful. Um, but I also, because I feel like that that is something that needs to be addressed, especially nowadays. Um, but I also understand that maybe this might have been difficult to implement, especially with everything else in this plot that um, was going on. Um, so now to some of the flaws that I think this book had. Um, as I already mentioned, um, the mental health aspect I feel like could have been better. Um, I also would have liked to see more character development. Um, I feel like Eli and Misty's character development was probably the best in the book. Um, you saw them grow together throughout the book and you sympathize for both of them. Um, and I feel like Mouse's and Seth's character development was, was fine to an extent because towards the end you started to find out some hidden past secrets about them, um, but I feel like they could have had a bit more character development, and I also feel like um, Zach and Isabel should have had more character development as well, because um, altogether this book is a coming-of-age novel, and while the main plot point does center around Eli um, and the friends of Bishop trying to manage their forum and kind of avenge Jordan, um, Eli's relationship with Zach, um, his friendship and how it became strained, as well as Eli's relationship with Isabel and how his crush turned into them getting together, but then they had to deal with the struggles of the relationship. Um, I felt like those two plot points were also important to the novel as well. And because of that, I feel like they should have gotten a little more time to be fleshed out as characters. 
Um, so yeah, that was one flaw I had with the book. Um, and another flaw I had, and probably my biggest problem with the book, I would say, is that I felt like the ending was kind of rushed, abrupt, and underdeveloped. Um, I wish there had been a bit more to the ending because it honestly felt like the kind the kind of conclusion I would write when I'm exhausted writing and I just wanted to get the story over with. And so, I mean, that's not to say it's a bad ending. Like, it left me thinking about the book after I read it. Um, but it was just, it just felt really quick because Eli, at the end of the book, he randomly just puts his confession on display to all of the colleges and the um, the coding competition that they're entering. So it's like literally the this grand act that Eli does to try to ease his conscience. And that's just how the book ends. Like we don't know anything that happens out of, after that. And it's all just so sudden. And I feel like if there was like one more chapter in the book, um, the ending could have been a bit more spread out and have um, it was it would have been more solid without being so abrupt, but also still be impactful. Um, so altogether, I mean, I feel like the book was really good. It just, towards the ending, it just clipped off too soon. Um, but I would rate this book uh, probably 3.5 stars out of 5 um, because it was an entertaining read. It was a quick read. Um, it did have a lot of important themes, and I liked how his character, the main character, Eli, his character developed over the book. Um, but then on the downside, I felt like there should have been a bit more character development. Um, the mental health aspects of suicide could have been addressed a bit more, and the ending was too abrupt. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the book. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time.